some Marvin art. I have my ear pods in today because I think in my last video my sound was cutting in and out because I have paint on my phone. So today we're doing a 20 inch commission round in a spiral swipe and she wanted like it to look like the sun basically. So like the worst colors to choose, not the worst, the hardest, basically like yellows and oranges and yellows, sneakers away from there. I have a painting drawing. Move. I think he had a bone behind my painting, which isn't helpful. Um, so yellows are really hard to work with because they're like thin and they mix with other colors. So I have no idea uh, even if this is going to work. We'll see. I'm using Sherwin-Williams color to go and try corn black. Now, the colors we're going to be using golden quinacridone nickel azo gold. Then we have um, a new this little pigment called Horizon. I love it. You can get it from fluidart.co. I have the link in my description, by the way. I also have TLP Ball Gown, which is a gold interference. And then I have Joe Sonia Indian Yellow, TLP Golden Peach. So it's gonna be very golden-y. And she also loved Comet, the interference red um, from TLP, which is awesome. I love it. And then we have another yellow, this is Atelier, uh, I can't say this word, uh, Aureliade, and there's paint on it too, Yellow Deep. <laughs> and my cell activator is Atelier um, Gold, and I use the Shelly Art recipe. You can get 15% off on my uh, in my description. So I think I'm going to be using my pedal tool to swipe, and I think what I'm going to be doing is, oh, I should have got paper towel. Um, I'm just going to put my cell activator on here and I'm going to lay my colors in puddles and spin it while I swipe it. And hopefully it looks nice. I honestly have no idea if this is even going to work, but let's see. So I have my little thing here. I just have it on my cake spinner um, and I've taped the sides off just to leave a little bit. So I don't even need that much pillow cake. I should probably put on gloves because you know I'm messy. And I don't know. Let's see what happens. Okay, put my gloves on here. If this works, I'll be pretty pleased with myself. I never, hardly ever use yellows. But that's just me personally. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Ooh, here we go. Oh, it's a little gloopy today. I usually like this consistency. Uh, but just like anything, sometimes it's a little too thin. Sometimes it's a little gloopy. All right. Let's hope. I'll put a little bit more here. Okay. So. Ugh. I'm just going to push the paint to the edges. So when I spin it, it... Um, goes off nicely. All right. Now, let's start with our colors. Let me just get my hand here. So, we'll do this nickel azo. I know it looks a little brown, but sometimes it really gives off, uh, gives off a nice gold color, but we'll see, right? Okay. And she also wants the colors, hopefully, to reach the edges. It's kind of hard on a spiral swipe to do that, but we'll see. Here's the horizon, which will probably look pretty right on top of here, right? I want it to go out a little more. Um, all right, then we'll do the ball gown, which is the interference gold. All right, then we'll do the yellow. This is a little thick, so I'm not going to put too much. I'm just going to go like this because I don't want it to be too gloopy. A nice color actually would have also been the TLP cinnamon, which is like a copper color, one of my favorites now that I'm looking at this. If I have to redo it, maybe I'll add it. Okay, this is the peach color. Is it peach or mango? I have to check again. There 
right. Um, and then here is the Beloved Comet. It looks so cool. Such a great interference color. Interferences really, they look white, but when you resin and put colors on top and underneath, it just makes them look super 3D. All right, Ooh. and then I have one more yellow. It's a bit lighter. This is too thick. Yeah, it's all right. All right, and then we'll get to work, right? So hopefully this won't be a total disaster. And I can make the sun. All right. So now I'm going to take my tool and I'm going to put my cell activator on it. I'm going to just make sure put basically in the middle. Okay. And I'm just going to pour my cell activator on the tool and then just kind of smooth it around. I don't want it too thick. You don't want it too thin either. Okay, hopefully that's really good. All right, let's just do it, right? Okay, so the big, you know what? I'm going to spin it right away. It's kind of cool. Pretty neat, actually. Now you don't really see the cell activator, but you see the cells that it created. And these um, pigments are so sparkly. You want to get all that paint off that doesn't belong. Let's see how we're doing. Wow. That is freaking cool. If I do say so myself. I have to spin it a bit more because there's still paint in the middle. And then Bob's your uncle. I'm pretty pleased with it. It's not as horrible as I expected. It's super sparkly. Um, and I'm pretty pleased. So I'm going to do a close up so you guys can see the sparkle. I hope you enjoy this quick little video and maybe I don't hate yellow anymore. Um, all right, there she is. Thanks for joining. Have a good day.